Time now for our hits and misses of the week, Dan. Well, Paul, I'm going to give a miss to California Governor Jerry Brown for announcing he will not run for president in 2016. This is a real shame. He's run three times before, starting in 1976, before most voters were born. Most recently in 1992 against Bill Clinton. It would have been nice to see him run again against Bill Clinton's wife, hold her feet to the fire. And you never know, we'll miss him, but he might change his mind. Yeah, the entertainment value would be worth it. Uh, Brett? Uh, I'd like to give a hit to the Israeli defense minister who in private conversations assailed Secretary of State John Kerry's diplomacy, calling it, uh, accusing him of incomprehensible messianism and an obsession with, with the peace process. He said, please, uh, Mr. Secretary, take your Nobel Peace Prize and leave us be. Excellent advice. I hope the uh, committee up in Scandinavia is getting the prize ready. Matt. Uh, Paul, here's a hit to the Senate Intelligence Committee, which this week came up with a uh, sober and bipartisan report into uh, the Benghazi attacks in 2012. Sober and bipartisan has not been the tenor of this debate of Benghazi. But I think they really laid <laughs> out sure. the facts very usefully. They said the attacks were preventable, and they really have raised important questions about the way that the State Department, and especially Hillary Clinton, handled that episode before, during, and after the Benghazi. Uh, get set to have a deb long debate over this in the run-up to the 2016 presidential race. Matt, bre uh, Brett, briefly on yours, why did the Israelis apologize for the defense minister then? Well, it was, as they say, a gaffe, the unwitting speaking of, of truth, and they felt that it was a little too personal against uh, Mr. Kerry. Okay, thanks. And remember, if you have your own hit or miss, please send it to us at JER at foxnews.com. And be sure to follow us on Twitter. I know you will at JER on FNC.